Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Ventura TV. I'm Sandra Cpac. On today's show, we are welcoming Vanessa Bechtel. She is the president and CEO of Ventura County Community Foundation. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for joining us on the program. My goodness, Sandra, thank you so much for having us here today. I really appreciate the opportunity. Great. Thank I you. know that uh, your community foundation here in Ventura County is doing so many good things for people, especially now during COVID-19. Uh, there's so much going on. So I, I would really like to get started and take it with the first question, which is, I know there's a lot of grants that you're handling right now. So how is that going? And give us a little bit of an update on that. Absolutely. Well, you know, first of all, right away, we knew that the community foundation was going to be needed to help our individuals and families, our small businesses, and our nonprofit organization get through this time. And so we launched the Ventura County Rapid Response Fund. And we did that with a number of partners, the County of Ventura, Amgen Foundation, uh, we have ERA Energy, uh, the uh, Southeast Ventura County YMCA, Economic Development Collaborative, Give an Hour, and we launched the Rapid Response Fund to get funding to not only individuals and families, Families, and we just completed our second round of distributing um, financial support to hundreds of local families, but also our nonprofit sector and our small businesses. And so uh, we've awarded over $500,000. And this week, we're um, going to be awarding probably roughly another $400,000. Mm, In great. addition, uh, we've been um, activated the 805 Undocu Fund uh, for COVID-19 with several partners, including Future Leaders of America and the McCune Foundation and MyCop and Cause, and um, have raised over $750,000 for that effort as well. And those families, um, we've had over 5,600 families apply. Those families um, that qualify are, will start getting those fundings this week um, over the next two weeks. So. Uh, a lot of grant making going on, um, but a lot of wonderful That's efforts. Now, when you mention so many families in need, um, will there be enough to go around for everybody? Will everybody be given some sort of assistance? So far, we've actually been able to fund 100% of the individuals and families that have qualified for the Rapid Response Fund. Okay. Um, in terms of the uh, 805 Undocu Fund, we have seen unprecedented response. Um, just to put it into context, during the Thomas Fire, Hill, and Woolsey Fire, we were able to serve 1,685 families. Um, within the first week, we had over 5,000 applications from families. So the need is so much greater. And in fact, overall, I would say that need is about five times greater than what we've witnessed in prior disasters. And so truly, um, I am worried about meeting that need and we're gonna need to raise several more million. Which is my next question. Where is all that money gonna come from? You know, we live in an incredibly generous and resilient community. I, you know, Sandra, I was thinking about the last time we connected together and right. just what I've continued to witness and what we continue to see is that we live in a community where people take action and they give and hundreds, hundreds of individuals have been giving. And, and it, what I don't think people realize is the act of giving is what is going to also ensure our resiliency as a community by helping others, we also help ourselves. And it's a really um, wonderful model that Ventura County definitely gets. So that money's coming local. And that's something that's also a little different than prior disasters, is that in prior disasters, money came from all over the world because we were one of 2% of communities in the world that may have had a fire at that time. But this, every community is coming, coming through the same thing across right. the globe. And so it really is up to us at the local level. Um, and I'm so thankful we're in Ventura County because you can see that generosity every day. Which is extremely good for so many people here in need. It really makes such a difference. This is a time when many people have lost their jobs and there's, their kids are at home now. So they're doing double duty with childcare and trying to maneuver their finances. Um, it's very difficult for so many families out there. 
It really is. And, you know, people are needing to access the social safety net system for the very first time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I think that's something else that people may not really appreciate is just how deep the pain is. Um, right. And you can see it. And food share, our local food bank that normally serves 76,000 people per month has right. been serving right. an extra 15,000 people per week. I mean, it's right. remarkable. And, and frankly, um, their, uh, the actions by Monica White, their president and CEO, and their sure. board of directors and staff have been amazing because people are being served, and um, I'm, I'm just in awe. Terrific. Um, I know that, you know, I, you, you have partnered with quite a few uh, community uh, groups out there, so uh, that's good to see. And Monica is doing a phenomenal job. There's so many people that really need to feed their families, and hopefully uh, they will be able to continue that. Uh, down the road for the next few weeks, at least. Um, let's talk about some of the other things that your group is doing. Um, your foundation also is handling some personal protective equipment. So tell us about that. Yes, you know, this is really, uh, <laughs> I mean, this is where we realize that our county and our community is really, um, we need each other right now. And we've been uh, collecting um, in conjunction with Assembly Member Irwin's office and you know our county hospitals, we've been collecting personal protective equipment. And we've been working to secure 50,000 gowns, 50,000 gloves, um, hundreds of thousands of masks we need to collect. And so this is the time, but you know, again, it's amazing you put this out there and we have local businesses that have been dropping off a hundred nine and nine five masks and we've had businesses drop off five thousand masks and yesterday we received a shipment of two thousand masks from people we never met um, that were able to um, drop drop those by so uh, truly our office now has looked like a supply chain company for the medical field we have boxes all over but we're still going to need to do this and so um, yes please if you have any any of these uh, materials and we have a full list of what's needed, please uh, bring those forward because uh, this is the time we need to secure those. Uh, the supply chain globally has really been breaking down. That's good. And if you can, mention the website for us so that if there are folks out there that are interested in getting more information about all that you're doing, certainly we can include that. Absolutely. Our website is vccf.org, vccf.org. And you can also call me at any time. Uh, my number's on there, but just in case, 805-330-6676. And uh, truly, this is the time we all need to stick together. If you or anyone you know is in crisis, please help us get connected. Um, we'll get them to connected to 211. We'll get them to connected to Give an Hour um, is offering free mental mental and emotional wellness support. We can get them connected to our small business administration. This is really the time we all need to stick together. And let's just really quickly mention the 2020 census, how important that is to not only the residents here in Ventura County, but also to your organization to help those residents here. Absolutely. The 2020 census is currently underway. And before all of this happened, Ventura County had been identified by the federal government as 59th in the nation, most at risk of an undercount. Every person we don't count is a loss of $2,000 per year for 10 years. Wow. It's about $2 billion is at risk. But I'll tell you, this is where we are a wonderful community because mm -hmm. when we recognize that, hundreds of people gathered together, businesses, our go county government, our city governments, hundreds of nonprofit organizations, our faith-based community, and we said, we're going to have an accurate count. And right now, Ventura County is fourth in California, and we're surpassing the national response rate for the census. But we need to all do it. Go online, census.gov, and fill out your census form. It takes a few minutes, and if you um, need help with that or you don't have internet connection, just go to our website, bccf.org, or call my number, and we'll get you connected with the right number to call. Right, because that makes a big difference for people getting the, uh, uh, you know, the aid they're going to need, and certainly the financial assistance should they need that. Um, that really makes a big, a big difference to a lot of people out there. 
It does. And it's also, you know, the number one user of census data are businesses. Right. It is actually how businesses decide how to make investments into our community. During this time, as we're facing an unprecedented global pandemic, we need that investment now more than ever. So the census will not only help get funding to the nonprofits that you care about and to our social safety net, but it also will help in our economic resiliency. So very please good. make sure you're counted. Very good. Vanessa Bechtel, if you could please uh, share the website with us one last time so people can get more information from you. And um, we'll, we'll let them go through the website and, and understand what's going on with your organization and they'll have a little bit more information. Sandra, as always, I'm so grateful to you. And our website is vccf.org, vccf.org, where your community foundation, please connect with us anytime. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Vanessa Bechtel, the president and CEO of Ventura County Community Foundation. You're doing such good work out there for so many people in need. Uh, thank you so very much for joining us today on our Ventura TV. I was honored. Thank you so much, Sandra.